Sean, what's the most or one of the most exciting moments you've had as a filmmaker? There have been many exciting moments over the years, but there's this one small moment I had by myself while living in New York a few years ago. I used to go down to Chinatown, go to Grand Street, and go through all the bootleg imports and see what I could find from new Asian cinema, because it's sometimes hard to find, you know? And uh, I found a copy of Takeout, which was nice. <laughs> you know, I felt like I made it. You know, my film was bootlegged over there and made it all the way back <laughs> back to me. And now I'm, I'm purchasing a, a bootleg of my own film. And I, um, it just was like, uh, okay, good. I, I, the film got out there. Now, of course, I shouldn't be so happy that my film was bootlegged. But at the same time, when you're making these little movies, it's just nice to know that you know, it's getting outside your living room. <laughs> Did, and you bought that copy? I actually went up to the woman at the counter. I'm like, this is my, fil this is my film. That's my name. Can I, can I at least like have this one? And she, no, she didn't let me. She, she didn't mind. even know what I was talking about really. There's a language barrier, but at the same time, I, I did pay for it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's see, other exciting moments. Um, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. I, I mean, that's. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, this last, I have to say, with Tangerine, though, you may want to bring it back to Tangerine. Tangerine, for me, had very, many exciting moments. Um, you know, our premiere at Sundance, our, you know, just the, the days of getting a nice reaction to the film. Um, those 12 days at Sundance were just, it was just a whirlwind. But just recently, a week and a half ago, when we were in New York City doing, uh, preparing for the release of the film, uh, Kiki and Maya came to New York and we actually had Magnolia made us a float, a tangerine float for the Pride Parade. And it was really just this wonderful moment where, you know, Kiki, who had not, who's never been outside of Southern California, you know, was suddenly experiencing Manhattan from this elevated point of view and you you couldn't ask for more than that. I mean, I was just so happy that, you know, Kiki was there and being able to experience this wonderful moment. And, and I thought I was like, in a way, like experiencing the moment through her because I couldn't imagine seeing Manhattan that way for the first time with thousands of people cheering you on on either side of, of Fifth Avenue. And, and so it's just an incredible moment.